Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel and if you're new here I'm Ellie and this is a video I've never done before but I thought I'd do this year heading into next year and it's basically a stepping into 2022 a brand new year video we're going to be talking about stuff um, for the next year we're talking about this year and a little Q&A at the end that you guys asked me on my Instagram this is just a video I thought I'd film for you guys um, just to prepare you for 2022, any questions you may want to know about me or any questions you asked me on the Q&A will be at the end, like I said. But the first 10-15 minutes of the video is going to be me talking to you guys about what I think we should all be taking into our new year so we can all have a really good new year together. Just as just my opinions, my views on everything. So I'm filming this video on Wednesday the... 29th of December and I'll be posting it on Sunday which is going to be the first, no, the 2nd of January and I just think that's the perfect time to post this video so you guys can really watch it and get your goals sorted for the 3rd of January which is when everybody sort of gets their life back to normal with work and all the other little stuff that's going on. So during the week we've all probably reflected on our past year 2021 in our own little way We've all probably asked ourselves, what did I do this year that made me proud, big or small? What goals did I achieve this year, big or small? What did I, in general, achieve this year? Um, what am I proud of? What am I grateful for from this year? Um, all the all little things like that that matter to you, you should have asked yourself during the week. If you haven't, ask yourself that now on the last year. And based on it being big or small or private, it doesn't matter as long as it matters to you and it's, it affects your life. And believe it or not, all this stuff we just said, what have I achieved? What goals have I achieved? Um, what am I proud of in the past year? What am I grateful for in the last year? This all helps with your brand new year in 2022 and new goals and new a new mindset for the new year based on what you've just said, we've just thought of with what you've just achieved in the last year. I want you guys to make sure that you are not comparing your life to anyone else because let me tell you now, it is not worth the time of day. It is gonna just suck all the life out of you if you keep comparing your life and your goals and your interests and your future to other people or to what you see on social media which is mostly fake and not true not as it is true but not as it seems i am the type of person who used to compare myself to other people a lot in loads of different little ways but guys it don't help you in the long run so when i when i kept saying big or small or personal or private to you it's because these things that you've achieved in the last year goals or just general achievements little things you might be proud of never ever go oh that's a stupid goal that i achieved why did i have set that goal or that barely an achievement why am i even mentioning that no it's something that you've achieved in your year last year was hard we had lots of lockdowns covid's still around not much to do can't go traveling all this blah blah, blah. hard to find a job that's life at the moment so write it down in your journal write type it down on your phone on your notes that helps because you can always go to it because we always all all the time we always have our phone in our bag or our back pocket you don't always have your journal with you i like to do it in both because i like typing it down but then i like physically writing it down it makes me feel good so that's why i kept saying big or small it doesn't matter as long as it matters to you stop comparing yourself to other people and just be proud of what you've accomplished this year even if it's not much me it's not much but the little things i can think of pretty proud of them because they matter to me and they are gonna then affect my brand new year so now stepping into 2022 a brand new year we need to figure out what type of year we want so in your new year i'm gonna be looking at my phone because i've made a few notes so what do you want from your new year do you want to work on your career, to kickstart your career, travel in, um, build a healthy relationship with your body and food. You need to figure out what type of year you want. Some people go with a theme of this year, I'm losing weight, 
I'm gonna have a goal of losing four stone this year. That that's a complete theme for your year because that takes a while to get the the right balance of food, um, to like get used to as well, trying new foods, you get your body used to, find out the right, right exercises for you, being able to afford a personal trainer or a gym membership or finding the right exercises on YouTube etc. takes time. So everyone usually has a theme to their new year goals. With your career, that can, working on your career, so that's like going to uni, really focusing and concentrating or kickstarting your career. So many people I know from my school have really kickstarted the last few months of being a nurse and working in hospitals. It's finally all come to life for them. And that's amazing. But this new year, that could be you. Most people have a theme. Mine, which I'll mention at the end, mine's pretty much... Well, mine is a sort of a theme, but with like an, with like a little thing put in there as well for me to work on. The quote, New Year, Fresh Start, if you agree with that, comment below, because I so agree with that. It's a brand new year, January 1st, a brand new whole year, a whole 12 months ahead. That's a brand new fresh start. A brand new year, a brand new goals that you can almost definitely achieve in a whole 12 months time, a whole year, every day, 24 hours a day, you can achieve this goal. If you focus and stay dedicated, you can definitely achieve this goal, whatever goal it is. Even if it's finally this year, I'm gonna start a YouTube channel. You save up for that camera. I never used to have a camera for my YouTube channel. I had a photography camera, which honestly was really annoying to film with. It could be something like saving up for a camera, starting a YouTube channel, once again, kickstarting your career, all this stuff, losing weight. You have a brand new you. It is a fresh start, a fresh slate. We can all do it. A brand new you. Let go of the negative vibes. <laughs> I am very much for this. My friends would tell you, my family would tell you. I'm all about positive vibes, positive energy, I don't need your negative energy, so let go of those negative thoughts that you had in the last year about yourself, about your career, about your work, because all this can change if it's about yourself and your body and your image. Well, we all know what to do there, it's just hard to do, and I know that personally. Go to the gym, eat right, it's hard. You just need to learn self-love. Not liking your job, get a new job. Stick at this job before you get a new job though, because it's just, you know, you don't want to stop the money income. Get a new job. There's plenty going to be out there from January 1st. Your career, don't like the idea of anymore. Write down everything you like, your hobbies, and maybe find a career from those. Fresh start. Negative people that have a negative impact on your life and just don't help you in any way when it comes to your life, let go. I am a very, very, what's the word, I'm very headstrong, so letting go of toxic negative people that really don't impact my life for the better, I cut them out like that because that's a waste of my time. I'm 22, I really don't need that energy. I really don't need your negative opinions to just get me down and I just don't need it. I don't need it overall. This year, base it on you. If someone in your life is negative to you 24-7 and it's just a negative energy, a negative impact on your life, you need to sit them down, say, and just, yeah, really start thinking about put yourself first because those people they don't stay in your life forever anyway. And another thing for New Year Fresh Start, you need to decide what matters to you. This could be anything. I know mine. It could be literally anything in the world that matters to you. That's Who cares what anyone else got that matters to you at the end of the day. So what excites you? Um, what makes you feel amazing just by the thought of it? Um, what make, it makes you feel positive and happy and warm inside. 
focus on that put your energy on that work on that that's what i'm working towards because mine makes me feel warm inside makes me feel positive it makes me feel happy and i can do this i know i can do this because it gets me excited talking about it. it makes me happy talking about it i know i can do it so let's focus on that get it done because new year fresh start people i think all these things really matter in the new year i just think we've had a hard time with covid and not being not being able to have a normal life recently so this year put yourself first think about your goals and go for them do not care what other people think do not care what other people say they, that's their opinions that they can keep to themselves this is about you this is about your life this is your life i can't make that more clear this is no one else's life it's yours and your only one do as you wish with this life and i say focus now that's what i'm doing anyway so i'm gonna say some little things that i do that help me and i will i do all the time but i'll also be taken into the new year just in case you guys don't do this because it helps me with planning organizing all the rest of it so let's get straight into it i mentioned this in my last video that i actually posted wednesday a diary get a diary order a diary off amazon go to your local shop and get a diary if there's any left don't know um and every night before bed write about your day in your diary i write down the most silly stupidest things but i like to write in my diary there's some nights i forget because maybe i'm really really tired i've had a late shift i've come home from drinking a bit too late i don't want to write in my diary at midnight so i do in the morning anyway but most nights i write in my diary i sit on my bed have my favorite pen and i write in my diary my favorite pen oh it's just a nice smooth pen you know and you can write down what you had for dinner that day what movie you watched oh i went on a walk with the dog um today i wore my favorite bag i wore my new top went out for a meal with friends um ordered some new dresses for new year's eve stuff like that just write anything down because let me tell you in a few years time you're gonna find all these diaries stacked up in your attic and you are gonna read through them all the diaries i've had throughout the years i've kept because i want to read through them one day and just writing about your day at the end of a day just before bed does help and it just makes you feel good writing it down it makes me feel very relaxed for some reason even if you've had a really really bad day write it down there's no shame in that we all have bad days we all have days where we've had a cry we've all had days where we might have had an argument with our friend or family a day where work just went really rubbish for you write it down because let me tell you what the next day is a brand new day forget about it and it's a brand new page in this book to write down so write down the negative thoughts i do sometimes i have really negative thoughts about myself i write them down because it's getting it out and it does make you feel better but i'm just saying get a diary get a cute little diary get a di diary that relates to you even if it's like a diary on your phone i personally like, prefer to write it down just because i i just like it i like writing stuff down but yeah also every night after i've written in my diary i set that aside i grab a piece of paper and i write down tomorrow to do little things it can be the most stupidest things i did it today today i put steam in my face because i'm going out friday for new year's a uh, blackhead mask do my eyebrows um try on that new dress i ordered clean my room ready for new year's and film a video because tomorrow what do i have to do nothing so i won't write anything down because i'm going i'm in work all day but the day after that i'm going to be getting ready for new year's so i'm going to write down all the stuff i want to get done before getting ready little things like that it makes you feel organized and also it makes you feel prepared for the next day and what to expect today for me for example has flown by but i've got everything on my list done so that makes me feel good i have a little tick next to all the things i needed to get done it's made my day productive um 
that's probably why the day's flown by because I just have been busy it's made my day productive I've got stuff done that I needed to get done such as this video I've done my little pampering that you guys know I love and it just overall makes you feel organized as well having this little to-do list in the morning I don't always do everything on that list sometimes it says yoga at the top do I do it every time no sometimes I just don't feel like doing yoga on that day but I wrote it down anyway just in case I wanted to then I could tick it off it doesn't matter if you don't do some stuff on the list there's one thing on that list I haven't done but there's a brand new day tomorrow and I can do it after work and I could do it before work Friday so I own a lot of notebooks I'm a very big once again, I write down in notebooks. I just, have, I just have a lot of notebooks. It's just what I like to get. Um, I probably don't need these many. No, I don't need that many notebooks. But I like buying them. And I suggest to you now to write... No, to buy notebooks that relate to you. So, I'm going to show you some of my notebooks that I write in that relate to me. All my notebooks have a little theme because it relates to me and it gives me the motivation to write in them and just seeing them on the side motivates me overall for my goals and what I want from life and I just think we should all have notebooks that relate to us on a personal level it doesn't have to be a personal level, it could be a work based level just something you, that matters to you so I'll show you mine now for examples so if you have me on TikTok you would have seen these books before I'll link my TikTok below for you guys but I got this one to start with it says go where you feel most alive and this just relates to me. Go where you feel most alive. And when you open it up, there's another little quote inside. Be bold enough to use your voice, brave enough to listen to your heart, and strong enough to live the life you've always imagined. In you, I've actually put, what does my dream life look like? What does an ideal day look like? 10 goals to complete by 2021. What makes a life good to me? Some plans I got for the future. The next one I got is this one. The journey is the destination. So I got this book from TK Maxx and I actually showed this to you guys in a haul I did a while ago. And I haven't actually written in this yet because I don't like starting several notebooks at a time. But these notebooks are just, they relate to me. All of you, all my friends and family know. I like travelling, travelling is a main passion of mine, it's something I like and want to do. Um, my room, guys, look above me, I got a massive map on my wall, I got these books, I nearly, I mentioned it in nearly every single video recently, because it's what matters to me. Some people might look at me and go, how can you be passionate about travelling? Well, you have no idea where I'm going with this, so, and that's the attitude you need to have. My life my choice and that is all you need to say no one else should have a voice in your life to try and control it but yeah notebooks that matter to you at the end of the day these really really pretty notebooks i bought this one from spain jesus this one was expensive i remember didn't no one done nothing in that shop had a price this one's from tk maxx if you want really good nice notebooks go to tk maxx so i suggest so i suggest you guys after this video go on amazon and type in you know travel notebooks um car notebooks 2022 diary with a theme whatever you want to get just get something fun and that motivates you to write in it and don't forget to write in it now we're going to go into the q a i got a few questions off you guys that I put on my instagram stories i'm going to answer those now i always get the questions off same people because <laughs> you guys like clearly are like really supportive and watch my channel your new year's resolutions so you're supposed to have like three New Year's resolutions, I think, but that's not a must. My New Year's resolutions is... So the first one, I got a New Year's resolution like every... For th I got a resolution for three months, which I hope to complete, is to have a more like toned body and get, get some more exercise in basically. Move my body a bit more, exercise in the mornings, do my cardio, reach, reach the weight that I want to be. Um, all that jazz, just like work on my body a little bit. That's number one. The next one, the next one would be to get another job. Um, I already have one job, but I'm planning on getting another. I did have one, but I quit because it worked for me. Um, get another job, and I'm pretty sure I already got one. So, <laughs> wait and see. 
so that would be two jobs then which is a goal for me i like to keep busy and it helps towards my goals and if i had a third goal well my third goal is to just save save as much money as i can and i got like a little was it called like goal in my head for the money i want to put in my savings by the end of the well yeah by the end of the year sort of um just when it's right for me i already got quite a bit in there but you know no shame to keep saving towards your goals so those are kind of like my three new year's resolutions uh working towards your plan you clearly watch my videos <laughs> working towards your plan what are you going to do so like i just said get another job um in the evenings like because i already have a day job to work towards it and save more i'm planning on not going out clubbing as much i've done i've tried to fit in as much clubbing and nightlife because i do like it i do like dressing up and enjoying myself um as much as i can before the year ends um and i've decided to go clubbing like every month every like month and a half so that's like literally going to be three times before the plan um <clears throat> and just saving saving selling some stuff that i don't need um working hard at my jobs getting overtime with my two jobs um just doing as much as i can to like work towards this because this is my ult this is my life and i'm hoping my like dream life in a way is gonna start when i start this plan um like it's just all gonna kick off from there and i'm very excited like i am as you can tell i get really happy when i talk about this it makes me feel really good about myself because i know where i'm going with this i haven't told many people they'll find out sooner or later but right now it's personal it's mine no one can take it from me and yeah working towards that i'm just gonna save 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 not spend money on stupid things like you know takeaways and clothes i don't need any more clothes <laughs> um so you won't be getting many hauls from me um I'm just working hard at my jobs and yeah that's pretty much all I can do next question best thing that happened to you in 2021 hmm probably the realization that life's too short and that really did come like that really did become like a realization to me in 2021 life's too short to not just go for it and I think COVID is the reason for that I'm not thanking COVID though mm -mm. <laughs> it's just it i wouldn't have had that realization if covid wasn't around because it's, it has put our lives to a halt at points it's very much not given us a normal life back hopefully next year is different um but yeah covid's definitely the reason i thought i we came to the realization that life is too short go live it and because recently my plan was like very very small and i don't know why i did that because i just underestimated my i just like underestimated myself when it came to how much money i could save what i could do with this when really this has been my goal and my dream life for years and years since i can remember it's literally since i can remember so let's just go for it life's too short to be led in bed worrying and and to basically stop being a dreamer and to start to be a doer. Next question, what do you expect from your 2022? God, that's a mouthful, 2022, isn't it? I expect proper, proper, like, happiness and fulfillment of my life and adventure and positivity, meeting new people, if I could put into three words, oh wait, is that another question? No. If I could put into three words, it would be adventure, so, so, so happy, and finally, that's what I expect from my 2022. And that sounds cringe, but you know, you asked. Um, <laughs> So this one just says YouTube goals, but I'm assuming you mean like what's your YouTube goals for the new year? 
So I've said this for quite some time to everyone. I'm not sure if I've said it on my channel. Obviously, I post videos all the time and they all have different ways of coming out. So sometimes I post hauls, sometimes I post this and that and that. So it's kind of a mixture on my channel. But I do want a niche. Like, it's just hard to do when you're like almost there but you're still trying to build your subscribers you're still trying to keep your subscribers and keep them um interested in your youtube videos so this year i gained like what 300 more subscribers from my content um but next year i'm honestly expecting my youtube to skyrocket because i'm going to be posting so many videos that relate to me that i want to post like not saying I don't want to post any of these because I enjoy filming them, but that I really want to post that's like actually me. Because um, when I post hauls, I enjoy them, but I'm not. I'm no fashionista. I don't know all the fashion terms and everything, so I'm not the best at it. But this is is me, and I'm going to be the best at it. And yeah, I honestly feel like my YouTube's going to skyrocket when I start posting these videos for my plan and during my plan and after my plan all that jazz um and i just hope you guys really enjoy it and you, i get more subscribers and i get more likes and more comments and more loyal subscribers that talk to me during in my comments and everything so i'm guessing it says so it says you stay so motivated how okay i need this in the new year i'm pretty sure that says year because mm. i'm going off like top of the letters so how i stay motivated just little things like those behind me, my map, my journals. Gee, I have so many things in my room that motivate me every morning to do what I want to do. Um, you know, like not comparing my life to anyone else. Yeah, you might be a nurse. Yeah, you might be have your own business. Yeah, you might um, have a massive YouTube channel. I don't care because it's my life and I'm pretty happy with the way it's going. I'm pretty happy with what I want to do and I'm staying motivated by realising this is my life. No one else is. It's what I want to do. At the end of the day guys, you are your own motivation. You are your own victim as well because if you don't do stuff, there's no one else to blame but you. And that's so harsh but it's true and that's the reality of life. You are your own problem and you need to become your own motivation because no one else is going to do it for you you need to rely on yourself when it comes to doing stuff like that because if this is your future you're the only person that can make that happen so you need to stay focused motivated determined we talked all about that at the start of the video so how i do it i just depend on myself i have all these things around me that motivate me and just make sure do not compare yourself to others it will not get you anywhere it will put your life at a standstill it's yeah but they will put your life at a standstill because you will not you won't stop comparing yourself to them so you are your own worst enemy at times but you can be your best motivation when it comes to living your best life and that was all the q a's i had it wasn't many but i think the q a's people asked me were pretty good and they pretty much answered the questions all for all of next year january to december so you guys pretty much know anything about me now except for plan i guess you still have to guess there but yeah that is the video and i just thought i'd talk to you guys about the new year but reflecting on this year and getting ready and really let's all smash this year we all got this i got this you got this my subscribers you got this let's do it together I want to know your New Year's resolutions in the comments below. So give this video a like. Comment your New Year's resolutions below. Um, we'll talk about it in the comments. And subscribe to future videos if you're new here. I post every Sunday by 5pm. Sometimes you're lucky and get two videos a week like this week. And yeah, I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye and have a great New Year.
Why'd you say?